All right, we're looking at 5.2 number 3. Uh, multiply and simplify completely, including the elimination of all negative exponents. So um, I would go ahead and take that 5 and distribute it um, to the top and the bottom of that first one. So 2 to the 5th, um, I would just leave as 2 to the 5th and not actually worry about what it is. And then you have x to the 5th to the 5th power. When it's a power to a power, you multiply them. So it would be x to the 5 times 5, which is 25. Then in the bottom, you'll have 5 to the 5th. Again, don't worry about what that is. And y to the 30th because you're going to multiply the 5 and the 6. All right, now we're going to have all that times 5 to the 3rd, y to the 7th, over 2 to the 4th, x to the negative 4th. So now we're going to use um, our quotient rule for exponents. If we look for like bases, for instance, we have a 2 here, and a 2 here. So using the quotient rule, I would subtract their exponents. And 5 minus 4 is a positive 1, so since it's positive, we're going to keep that 2 upstairs. Now let's look at the x's. I've got an x here and an x here. So I have 25 minus a negative 4. When you subtract a negative, you add so that's going to be x to the 29th. All right, now let's look at our 5's. Again, that was positive, so we want to keep it upstairs. We have 5 to the 3rd over 5 to um, the 5th. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Since it's negative, we want to put it downstairs and we'll make that 2 positive. The reason it's positive is because we moved it downstairs. Lastly, there's the y's, y to the 7th, and y to the 30th. So 7 minus 30 is negative 23. Again, since it's negative, we're going to have it be downstairs. So y to the positive 23. So this is going to be your answer. And I believe the way they have it set up for you is that you put the numerator in the first blank and the denominator in the second blank, the bottom one. Um, it's hard to tell with, yeah, it's hard to tell with this, this here, but I believe that's what you do.